deciding between a headful and headless CMS. Understand the requirements of the project. This step is critical in determining the appropriate CMS for your project. Identify the specific needs of the website or application, including the type of content to be managed, for example text, images, videos, etc., the number of users and their roles, and the desired user experience. This information will help guide the decision-making process and ensure that the chosen CMS meets the needs of the project. Evaluate the pros and cons of each approach. A headful CMS, also known as a traditional CMS, provides a built-in front-end and is typically easier to use for non-technical users. It offers a pre-built front-end and back-end integration, which is more user-friendly for non-technical people, but it might not be as flexible as headless CMS when it comes to integrating with other systems or technologies. A headless CMS, on the other hand, separates the front-end from the back-end and allows for more flexibility in terms of the technology used for the front-end. It is more developer-friendly as it allows for more flexibility and scalability but it might require a higher level of technical expertise to use and integrate. Assess the technical capabilities of the team. Consider the skills and experience of the development team in terms of working with different technologies and integrating them with a CMS. If the team is more comfortable with traditional CMS, a headful CMS might be a better fit. But if the team has experience with modern technologies and is comfortable with a headless approach, that could be a better option. Evaluate the scalability and flexibility of the solution. Consider the long-term goals and growth of the project and how the chosen CMS will support those goals. A headless CMS is more flexible and scalable, allowing for easy integration with other technologies and better performance at large scale. But a headful CMS might be a simpler solution for small projects with less scalability need. Test and evaluate the CMS. Before making a final decision, test and evaluate the CMS to ensure it meets the requirements of the project and the team. This step will help identify any potential issues or limitations with the chosen CMS before it is implemented. This can help you to decide which option is better for your project. Overall, the choice between a head floor headless CMS will depend on the specific needs and requirements of the project. It's important to weigh the pros and cons of each approach, and to consider the technical capabilities of the team and the scalability and flexibility of the solution. A thorough evaluation and testing process will also help to ensure that the chosen CMS is the best fit for the project.